male and females. Um, I am going to do a haul video as quick as possible because I want it all to be one, um, makeup, okay? So, if you check on my previous video, I just did a haul slash, um, review of the collection that just came out, the, can't say it, not gonna mess it up. So now, everything I'm about to go over is everything that I picked up over the last past two or three weeks from the CCO, um, from the regular, um, Mac store, and also from, um, Sephora, when they had the 15% off. So, let's start off with Sephora. Um, when Sephora had the 15% off, I really wanted to try the NARS eyeshadows. So, I did pick up two of those. The first one that I picked up was the infamous Kalahari. And, um, very excited about this, um, this eyeshadow duo. Um, at first when I looked at it, I thought it was very boring until I got it home and played with it. And, it is now one of my favorite eyeshadows. So... Let me just show that to you now. This is Kalahari. And I'm going to have glitter on my fingers or something because it's glitter all over the top. But it's just a nice neutral brown. Um, this color reminds me a little bit of Patina, but Patina has a little bit, it's a little bit more gray tone to it and is a little bit more pinky. And this one is a nice taupey brown color, which kind of reminds me of Satin Taupe, but a little bit more browner to it. And has the beautiful NARS packaging, as we all love from NARS. The next shadow that I picked up was the new one from their spring collection. And that was Koala Lumpar. Um, and this one is the one with that peachy pink color. A very nice peachy pink color. And it also has like a mauve with a lot of gold shimmer in it. So this is the Koala Lumpar. This color I thought would be very close to, um, what's the name of that color? Expensive Pink or close to the color that came in the Urban Decay um, palette, the Alice in Wonderland, the Munchness, but it's not. It's totally unique. It's similar, but a very different from those. You know, like, yes, but no. It's kind of one of those. And this color, I have no dupes for it as of yet. It's just a beautiful mauve. It's kind of like a mauve purple with a ton of gold. Totally beautiful color. So I was really excited about that purchase. And that was all that I got from the friends and families. But if you know NARS, that's more than enough. Okay? So, the next thing that I picked up was um, a brush from um, the MAC freestanding store. And the brush that I picked up was the 116 blush brush. And honestly, after using this blush brush, I don't know how I lived with it. Out it. It applies my blush perfectly, giving me a nice, even, like, tone of it. And it just really just blends it out perfectly. I just can't explain, like, why this brush, this blush brush is so much better than any other brush I have. I, I can't explain it. Whatever. It's weird. Um, the next thing I picked up from the MAC Free Standing Store was the eyeliner in Industrial, which came from the MAC Art uh, Supplies Collection. And this Industrial is the blue one. And excuse me, I have tons of stuff swatched on my hand. But it has a purple undertone to it. It has purple glitter to it. It's very, very um, nice and different color. And when I tell you these stay on my, my lids, this does not crease for me. Um, I wish they would have came out with a plain black one because I would have bought that in a Pearl Glide. Um, the next thing that I did was I went to my CCO. And when I tell you I all the way hold out, all the way hold out. That's my new theme song for Holland. <laughs> I picked up the brush, which is the 165. And this is the highlighting brush. Blah, brush and it just fits perfectly above the cheeks and it's so soft and it applies my highlights perfectly um i'm just finding out about highlights and um this was 
the best thing ever and highlighting does so much for your face I am going to do a video on that to show you how to apply a highlight and what it does for your face how it really brightens up your look for the summer the next thing I picked up was this blush it's called Eversun this was re-promoted with the uh, Style Warrior collection I really like this blush okay it looks very plain but it just gives me the perfect um warmed up look and it's a very natural look for me and my skin tone so this is ever sun at first i thought it wouldn't show up but it does and it has just a tiny bit of shimmer to it i don't know if you can see it there you go but it has just a tiny bit of shimmer The next blush that I picked up, because I'm really starting to get into face products, was this um, blush called Spaced Out, which came from the Neo Sci-Fi collection. And this one is like a peach, but it has a very pinky undertone to it. I don't know about this blush. I like it, but it's something about that pink duo. It's like a duochrome that I don't particularly, I don't know. I don't think I would reach for this one all that much. But I got it and it's silly for me to drive all the way back to CCO just to return it. Next was a product that I don't know how I passed it up because I wasn't into highlights back then. And this is the um, highlight powder. This came from the Naked Honey collection. This is a beautiful highlight color. Beautiful. And it has a gold sheen on top but once you rub it off because this is a glitter this is the color that you're left un underneath but it gives you just a nice beautiful golden highlight and that's what it looks like when you swatch it and when you dust it on your cheeks it just gives you a nice gold like hue to your face it's not extra shimmery it's like the perfect amount of shimmer this gorgeous we're almost done. Um, next, I picked up the Mineralized Skin Finish in Sunny by Nature um, because, well, I missed out on it and it was a bronzer and I love these things. So I did pick up Sunny by Nature. Now, Sunny by Nature, compared to Comfort, has a little bit more of a pinky or reddish undertone where Comfort has a little bit more of a golden undertone, which I think Comfort looks better on me per se because I have yellow hues, but this is still a really nice um, bronzer slash contour color. Gotta talk a little bit faster so we can get through everything. Next, I picked up one mineralized eyeshadow, and this one is called Devil May Dare, and it was the purple and the silver. I didn't pick this up when it was in the freestanding store because I really didn't like the silver side, but this lilac is very pretty and very unique. I have nothing like this in my collection. So, that was Devil May Dare, and this came from the Magic Mirth and Mischief from the Holiday Collection. Next, I picked up a pigment in um, Steel Blue. And Steel Blue is like a teal. It's like the teal blue, but with a lot of gold shimmer in it. So, that's it. Beautiful color. And I also picked up the pigment in Teal. I mean, not Teal. Ooh, I wouldn't pick up Teal if I picked up the Steel Blue. I also picked up Tan. And tan is just a very pinky, bronzy-ish color, in my opinion. But it is a very pretty color. And this is tan. And I only have two more things to show you. I picked up the quad in Notoriety. And that came out with the MAC Art Gallery collection. Okay, this is the only one that I didn't pick up from that. And the last thing that I picked up was a lip glass called Soft Dazzle. And it was the pink with uh, glitter. But I want to have this video be less than 10 minutes, so I hope you liked my haul video. Um, this was a big one for me, but I don't do it very often. Bye, guys.